Bam Aquino is pushing for the passage of a bill that seeks to place at least one registered nurse in every public school in the country. Joyce Balancho will tell us why. To make sure that health needs of students are monitored closely, Senator Bam Aquino is urging the Senate to pass his bill, which seeks to place at least one registered nurse in every public school in the country. The senator says it will not only address the needed mental and health services of students, but will also provide employment to thousands of Filipino nurses. We're hoping na kung makapaglagay tayo ng mga registered nurses per school, hindi lang ito makakatulong sa mga nurses po natin na walang trabaho ngayon, makakatulongan po ito sa kalidad ng ating mga eskwelahan. So we're hoping to push this and we hope to get the support of uh, DepEd as well. Under Senate Bill 663, the Department of Health is mandated to prepare the training modules for nurses and will also set guidelines and list of qualifications for their employment. If this bill will be passed, nurses will receive salary grade 15, equivalent to 25,000 every month. Funding for this will be taken from the budget of Department of Education. Tumataas yung ating budget for education. No? It's going up. Mas marami mga items na pwedeng bayaran ngayon na hindi na babayaran noon. So I'm hoping na pwede itong isama sa mga priorities natin. And definitely, kung mapasa ito bilang isang batas, maalagay ito sa mga priorities natin sa mga eskwelahan. The DOJ is yet to comment on the proposal, while the Department of Education says they will look into the bill. Ang kailangan lamang tingnan dito, palagay ko po, ay yung uh, budgetary uh, requirements at yung uh, availability ng supply ng mga nurses, especially if you talk about schools in uh, remote places. Mm. But the idea is definitely commendable, taking care of our children in our schools. But we need to study this very carefully. Senator Aquino, who also heads the Committee on Education, Arts and Culture, says they will hear this bill as soon as they have finished tackling the measures to provide free education in state universities and colleges and their proposed alternative learning system. Joyce Balancho, UNTV News and Rescue, Senate of the Philippines.